Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Stock Trade Ideas for the week of December 15th. Today is Sunday, December 14th, and we're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to review three trade ideas that we exited last week, four more that I'm currently in, and then one new one that I'm looking at for tomorrow. All right, so let's start off here with Cree. Cree was uh, the first one uh, on December 8th, which was Monday, I believe. Uh, got in with puts here near the open, right after the open, actually, right about here. And had an initial target down in here. And uh, because it hit the target the same day, I decided to go ahead and grab in next to the profits. Now, I got to learn to be a little bit more patient in some of these trades, especially since this looked like it was breaking down. And of course, the rest of the week, this is what it did. Now, it wasn't a strong move the rest of the week. I mean, look at the close. The close is 31.52. And yeah, OK, we well, yeah, we closed about another dollar thirty five below that in over the next three days. So it couldn't have hurt me to, to sit there. But uh, Ended up grabbing the profit, can't complain. It was 54% in uh, on that trade idea in one day. So never going to complain about that. All right, the next one is Yelp. And Yelp, we had puts. We were in this for several days. Uh, I can't remember. I think we got in right around in here. can't remember exactly. And I know we got out on the 8th uh, with half the position. Got out on the rest of it on the 9th down in here. Uh, and I really thought it was going to break down a lot more than this. And it's still, I mean, you could still be in this trade, uh, but I, I really, really thought it was going to break once it uh, took out this this level in here and, and took out this point and this this line. I mean, we, we were looking at some fan lines in here. Now, I never did quite go down and test this low at, uh, at 49.11. It didn't quite get down that far, but it did bounce kind of off the 50, so it was close, you know, close to that. So I think right around in here is where we got out of the second half. So, I mean, we ended up selling uh, after getting out of the entire position. The entire trade was 97% return. So, again, uh, pretty nice trade idea that worked out for us on that one. All right, the next one we're going to take a look at is uh, FireEye. And FireEye, let's see, I know I got out on the 9th, which was right in here. And I think I actually got in right over here. <clears throat> Should have gotten in up in here, okay? We got in here, sat through this little pullback, and then this just sat here and did nothing for days and just, you know, barely moved and fluctuated a little bit in here. And, and so finally I just said, okay. You know, th this is doing nothing. It feels like dead money. And then, of course, I get out and then it continues to roll on down. Now, I must say it isn't moving very fast, uh, but it is continuing to roll on over. So it'll be interesting to see what it does. I mean, does it take out this pivot point right here, uh, low of 38.39? I don't know, but we are out of it. So basically, I think I was scratched that trade. Uh, so... Uh, no uh, no great loss or, or no great win on that one. All right, so th let's take a look at uh, four that we're currently in. Yahoo. I uh, got into Yahoo on the 10th, which was right here, I believe. And and so now we had a little bit of a pullback. We're, the trend line that the uh, 10 is below the 21. Uh, we are fighting a little bit of a strong uh, headwinds in here. You know, it's had a pretty big move, but it did look like it was starting to roll over. Uh, and uh, we'll see whether it continues to break down or not. I mean, I you know, we got the moving averages crossed, DI minus and DI plus. I mean, it's not looking super strong. I mean, DI minus isn't pulled away from that. You got the demand index still positive. Uh, so we'll see how this works out. Um, and I'm still thinking that there's a good chance this might at least pull back to the 55-day moving average, which is exactly what this uh, moving average is right here. The bottom of the Keltner channel is 55-day moving average on a little bit of a pullback, and then maybe go again. So we'll see. I know some people have been calling for this in terms of a, uh, a flag kind of thing, and you could kind of make that case, I guess. But... Uh, you know, I'm going with uh, the setups that I've seen in terms of once this thing starts trading below the 10, 
uh, and um, trying to stay on the right side of the 10. Whole Foods is another one that we're in and uh, similar type scenario actually and and I'm you know this one struggled a little bit more may have gotten into this one a little bit early we got in on the same day here on the 10th uh, and so now you know Friday kind of came back even with the you know what Mark Dow was down 315 points and Whole Foods was up 62 so we'll see it seems like it's fighting off of this little trend line here like pulling back selling off pulling back selling off pulling back and then it sold off a little bit not much so we'll see whether or not uh, this now continues it starts to roll over or not uh, and you know we got a stop set up in here we got all the parameters for every one of these trade ideas are on the trade ideas web page uh, if you're not a subscriber it's very easy to subscribe and uh, gives you access to the trade ideas web page uh, the next one is Seagate Technologies got into Seagate uh, at the open on Friday uh, we was looking again for this to start to break down and had a nice follow through on Friday so I always like it when the first day you get into a trade you get solid follow through into your trade idea uh, and uh, instead of fighting it you know from the get-go and so it always makes me feel a lot, a lot better about that trade idea when it, you know it's going your way from day one uh, so we'll see uh, looking for some follow through uh, we'll see how far this this wants to go a lot of the uh, Some of these technology stocks are really pulling back especially some of the semiconductor stocks and that's why we're in micron Technology and this looks like too like it may be starting to roll over uh, I talked about this briefly yesterday, uh, you know, like this top here uh, across the top of this these two uh, high points Right in there and you know it popped above it now it looks like it's coming back down it could be starting to roll over it's broken this trend line here and uh we'll see I, and a lot of the a lot of the semiconductor stocks look like they were doing reversals and this is clearly kind of a reversal week if you look at it on a weekly basis uh it, you know not as strong here in terms of going to a higher high and then coming coming back down and being a bullish or a bearish and engulfing bar but still you know pretty bearish looking bar uh, for the week uh, you can't complain when you're in it on puts and it closes near the low for the day and for the low for the week uh, okay so that's it on those four we're we're sitting with those four right now we'll see if we can't at least get to our short-term targets that's what i'd like to do and uh, and grab some profit and go from there see what the market does tomorrow uh, the, the one I'm looking at, the new one I'm looking at is Best Buy. Uh, I'm not ready to quite dive in on this. I, I'm going to have an entry point uh, down here uh, somewhere. Uh, we're getting this moving average cross. We'll see whether or not this thing starts to reverse. It just looks a little bit like a, uh, a flag to me uh, in terms of the... the um, you know, besides the you know besides the moving averages crossing here the the 10 crossing below the 21 this just looks a little bit like a like a bearish type flag or pennant or whatever you want to call it, it looks like a little flag and we'll see you get you get this almost like a little bit of a neckline kind of a little bit of a top potentially forming uh, if it reverses down and breaks down through here you could get a pretty good little move maybe maybe all the way down here I'm not sure it'll go that far or not I and mean, we'll have to just watch and see how it breaks down uh, this stock has been rallying over the last few months actually uh, for most of the year I guess since February first of February it's been in a kind of a rally mode but when you look at it on a weekly basis and over a long term this just looks kind of suspicious to me it looks like this stock and I think I've shown this before this stock looks like it's putting in a huge top okay this looks like a huge top uh, that's been that it's been putting in uh, over uh, really the what last 15 years and uh, it's almost looks like it's starting to round over I mean you could just you know you take and just kind of look and it just has a little bit of that look and feel now here's the interesting thing you see this sharp move up here pull back and then this move is kind of uh, uh, at a less much less steep angle it was a similar type thing off of this point over here very sharp 
came down and then this had a much less steep yeah maybe well this was steeper in here for sure and and so the the symmetry kind of intrigues me when I start to see this symmetry now granted this is on a weekly chart um, even if you you know turn it into a uh, a monthly chart it's a little clearer in terms of the the top that's kind of forming uh, this is November bar so it's kind of I mean we're down from that this this only shows the the actual end of the month which it's only showing uh, November so we'll see whether or not we get the breakdown that this in this starts to break down so it's got to show that to me hmm that's weird how all of a sudden the uh, uh, the little bars kind of disappeared oh that's because I'm in the weekly I gotta go back to the daily Okay, I went to the I was in the I was in the weekly chart and went to daily and I got to go back to my daily chart is what I did. So here's here's what it is. So we'll see if this starts to roll down. I'm not I mean this is not one where I'm saying, "Hey, jump into puts first thing in the morning" kind of thing. I'm waiting for a specific entry, specific price action on Best Buy's part and then we'll look to uh to get in and and see if it'll uh head on down. All right, that's it for today. That's the trade ideas and we'll see what uh what the market holds uh, today, uh, this this coming week after the um, what biggest down week that we've had in over three years. So, all right, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. We'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Have a great Monday, everyone.